Hey guys, it's Felix from Bars and Cigars ATL and happy November. Hopefully your month is starting off well as the leaves are changing color and the air is brisk. So just last week, I know you guys were out trick-or-treating. Well, I did a little trick-or-treating on my own. Picked up the Wilderness Trail Small Batch Bottle and Bond 8-Year. Now, some of you guys may not know about Wilderness Trail and that may be because they've only been around since 2012. But since then, they've been releasing home run after home run of whiskeys, rice, bourbons, single barrels, and many others. So this is actually their oldest stated whiskey out. Prior to this, they had a phenomenal six year. So with the additional years, maybe some complexity, some different notes, and a different mash bill, I'm expecting another home run. But let's get into it and find out whether or not this is actually a treat or a trick. So as you can see, this is my first crack of it. I haven't tried this before, so everything that we experience, we're actually going to experience together. All right, let's get into it. Mm, quiet uh, cork pop. Okay, that should be enough. All right, looking at the color, as you can see, it's a rich fall amber. Giving notes of almost caramel, dark, charred caramel notes or colors here. Does it cling to the glass as much um, as I would have thought? But you can see some of it there, but it doesn't seem too viscous. Actually kind of loose. All right, let's nose it. Not a lot of ethanol is coming off of the pour. Actually very sweet. I get rich vanilla. Mmm, baking dough, more like a cinnamon roll with icing. So that vanilla icing that's on cinnamon roll with that baked dough right behind it. Mmm, the nose is exceptional. Uh, it's, even though those notes that I mentioned may sound heavy, it's actually fairly light, just wisp across. Also, small touches of citrus, orange, cooked down orange, so it's actually a rich orange. I like it. I really like the smell of this. Doesn't smell too oaky. Uh, as we get up in age from this, of course, their six year to the eight year, not getting too much of that. All right, now for the taste. Mm. Like the squirrels are fighting up there. Oh. Again, super light, very light. That citrus definitely lays across like a cooked down orangey chocolate candy and that is melted in your mouth. Mm. The middle point of this is really where it comes in at it. When you first put it in, you'll notice how light it is. Again, not oily, not viscous at all. Just lays across the tongue delicately. Midpoint this is where the, you start to pick up the, the notes of the vanilla, the caramel, the chocolate, the orange. And as far as the finish, actually is surprisingly longer than what I would have thought, just going off of the mouthfeel and the, how light the notes are. The finish of just wrapping up. So after that second sip, it's just now wrapping up. So the finish is actually longer than what I thought. Oh. This is, this is nice. Again, uh, I think it's almost perfect for the season. Uh, this is a sweet mash build. So again, that sweetness comes across. And for those who don't know, you have a sour mash or you have a sweet mash and not to get into the science of it all. Yeah, this is, this is a nice seasonal whiskey. 
Oh, I really do like it. Now, when we're talking about age stated whiskeys, you have some 10 years, like the Henry McKinney, uh, you have the seven year Heaven Hill, where, uh, you know, reasonably priced whiskeys with age statements that starts around the 35 to 40s up to the 50s, 60s. But you also have 10 year whiskeys as the Michters, the Rebel, uh, and many, many, many other Angels Envy that carry a higher price tag. I think for this, coming in at around the uh, $79 mark and being an eight year, it's nothing that I would really you know, get mad about. Again, uh, now you see seven year whiskeys and uh, some of your earlier 10 year whiskeys sitting in at the higher fi you know, 50 range. This is a little bit higher, um, but again, not too much higher. It's not falling off into the Michters and the Rebels and things of that nature. So recently priced at $70, $80, $80 I think I paid for this, $79.99. I would like to see it in a single barrel and then give me a little bit more proof than just 100. And maybe it's my palate and, and some of the whiskeys that I've already been drinking that's heavier than that uh, or more proof than that that I would like to see how complex it can actually get at let's say 168, right? Still, it may be an eight year. Mm, yeah, I think at barrel proof, you'll get the, the flavors more up front than waiting to that mid point and back. And I think it may give you a little bit more punch than just that light kind of, like I said, light coating of orange and chocolate with a vanilla. So we'd love to see this at, again, maybe barrel proof or single barrel that's above 116. Uh, but right now, it's a treat. It's a solid treat. Uh, again, this was a limited release, so I don't know if you'll be able to find it again. Uh, this came out in August, but you know, this is release season. So I'm sure stores are maybe sitting on it or slowly putting it out or allocating it. So ask around for it again nice fall midday uh whiskey definitely a treat all right guys that's my wrap up of the wilderness trail small batch bottle and bond eight year whiskey uh again stay tuned cut on your notification alerts so you don't miss another spirit review also i got a little treat of my own coming to you guys have you noticed coming out with new sweatshirts for the uh, right before the holiday season so stay tuned you'll get notifications of when this actually released all right guys as it says light up your life cheers